In this video, I am going to show you 6 insane new features in CapCut PC, and the last one will blow your mind. So watch till the end of the video to find out those new features. But before we dive into the video, kindly comment the country you are watching us from. So in CapCut, you can record your screen up to 2 hours for free, without watermark or a fee, so let me show you how to do that. So if you open a new project in CapCut, head to the media panel. Then you will find, record here, so click on it. So you can click on the screen, to select the screen. And you can adjust your selection, using the dots around the screen. So click and drag to anywhere you want to record. So you can change the microphone you want to use here. But I don't have any microphone connected, so just select the mic you want to use. And if you want to record your webcam also, just click here, and you can select the webcam you want to use. So just go through the list, and choose what you want to use. So your webcam will appear here, and if you hover your mouse over it, you can change your webcam footage to square or a round webcam. And you can also resize it using this dot, and place it at where you want. And if you don't want your webcam being recorded, click on this icon to close it. You can also move the recording control panel to anywhere you want. And when you are done with all the settings, click on start recording. So you will have this 3 seconds countdown, and it will start recording. And when you are done recording, click on the stop button to stop the recording. So after stopping the recording, you will have this window opened, and you will have two options, which is download or edit more. So let's click on download, then choose the location you want the recording to be saved to, then click on select folder, and your recording will be saved. And if you want to edit your video right away, just click on the edit more button, and a new project will be open for you to edit your video. So in CapCut's latest version, you can also add more mask to a single footage, so let me show you how you can do that. So import your video to the timeline, then go to mask, click on add mask, and select the mask you want to use. And I will select circle mask and then will move my mask a bit to the left. So if you want to add another mask, then come and click on this plus button here. Then as you can see another mask has been added, so you can add as many as you want. So I will add another circle mask and move it to the right. And you can select a different mask also. So I will select rectangle mask and move it to the right. You can play around with the settings, and doing what you want to use the mask for. So you can come and click on this X button here to remove the mask you added. And if you want to know more about mask and how to use mask, I will put a link in the description on how to use mask and what you can create using all the mask in CapCut. And do you know CapCut has added a mask that makes you mask your videos inside a text with just a single click. So after adding your video to the timeline, go to mask, click on add mask and select the text mask. And as you can see our video has been masked inside our text. So if you scroll down a bit, you can type what you want in this box, so I will type fusion. Then you can also change the font and also resize your text. Now if you scroll down to mask settings, then click on the reverse button to reverse the mask. Now go to basic and scroll down to canvas. Now click on the drop down menu and select color. Then you can change the color to any color you want. And if you go to mask again, you can click on the reverse mask and the color and the video will switch positions. In CapCut's new version, you can edit effects like trimming and masking directly on your videos. And they are very easy, so let me show you how to do that. So go to effects and find the effect you want to use. So I will be using the blur effect, so drag and drop it on top of the footage. Then you can increase the intensity here by using this slider, and here is the amazing part. You can trim your effect on the footage to cover only a particular portion of the footage instead of the whole video. And this feature is really amazing. 
and comes in handy if you want to apply the effect on a particular side. And if you come to the mask tab, which is only for the effects you added on top of your footage, you can use any mask on the effect you applied to the video. And if you mistakenly click outside the effect, and you want to bring the effect editing attribute back, go to basic, and you will find effect here, so click on it. Then click on the edit icon then you can continue manipulating your effects. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this new feature in CapCut. So do you know CapCut has introduced a masking tool that makes it easy to mask out object. So go to mask, click on it mask, then select the brush mask. So if you scroll down a bit, you will find these slider, and you can increase the size of the brush, and even add some feathering to the brush. And when you are done just draw over the object you want to mask out. Then wait for a while for CapCut to process your selection for you. And this might take a while, depending on the footage you are using. And just like that, the object has been masked out with no stress. So you can click on the reverse icon to reverse the mask. And if you want to change the background, go to canvas, select color and use any color you want. So now the last tool, which you will mostly find in advanced editing software like Premiere Pro and After Effects, which is the pen mask. So the pen mask makes you trace the object you want to mask out, and with this feature you are not limited, like the other mask. So I will trace this laptop screen, then replace with a different video. So when you are done tracing the object you want to mask out. You can also use these dots to adjust your selection. And also click on the reverse button to reverse your mask selection. So you can still continue adjusting your selection, till you get what you want. So I will move my footage to the overlay layer. Then add a second video to the timeline. Then I will adjust it to fill my mask selection. And these features are mind blowing. So check them out and let me know what you think in the comment section. See you in the next video.